Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about finding two unit vectors that are parallel to this given vector here. And then, so you may say, how do we do it? Well, first we can get this vector a name. Okay, so we can just let V be this vector first. So we have eight and then negative one and then four. Okay, so that we don't have to write out the whole vector, we can just simply just use V when we are addressing it. Okay, so now how do we do that? The idea is actually simple. So all we need to do is to multiply by uh, the reciprocal of the magnitude of this vector here. So uh, because the reciprocal of the magnitude is still positive, so it doesn't really change the direction. So um, when we take this vector, okay, when we take this V, and then multiply by its own magnitude. Well, I, no, actually we are multiplying by it, the reciprocal of the magnitude. And then you can see that this is actually still a, what, it's a positive scalar, right? And so the vector would still be pointing, this whole vector would still be pointing in the same direction as V, okay? And so that means they it's parallel to V. Okay, so what we are gonna do is that we are going to actually just find the magnitude first, and that would actually be really simple. So we can have the square root of a square plus negative one square plus four square. And then what happens is that we are going to multiply by the vector, right? So a negative one and then four. And then so what happens is that we just need to calculate this this stuff uh, in the denominator, and then we multiply this whole scalar by each component for the vector. And so we have what? We have this one, it's one over, and then this one is 64, and then plus one, and then plus 16, as you can see here. And then also there was the square root, right? So. Now what about the vector? We don't touch it yet, so just leave it for now. So we get eight, negative one, and then four. So now what happens is that we have 64 plus one, 65 plus 16 is 81. So we are going to, we are going to be getting one over square root of 81. And then square root 81 is nine, right? So we are just going to be getting one over nine. And we have eight, negative one, and then four. So now if we, basically we have the answer, but then we can just multiply each component by one over nine. So we are going to get eight over nine for the first component. Second one is negative one over nine. And then the third one is four over nine. So this vector here, points in the same direction as V, but it's a unit vector because we are taking our vector and then we divide by its own magnitude or we are multiplying by the reciprocal of its magnitude. Okay, so this one is one of the answers. This one is one of the answers, so we can, uh, we can box this one. Okay, and then what about, um, what's next? How do we get two, right? We need one more right here. So how do we get the other one? The other one that is parallel is that we can actually just make the vector point in the opposite direction as V, right? So we can find another one that is pointing in the opposite direction. So how do we make this one point in the opposite direction? Because this one is already parallel to V. So we just need another one. The other one would simply just be what? The other one would simply just be, uh, negating this. So we just put an extra minus sign in the front. Okay, so it would be a over nine, then negative one over nine, and then four over nine. And that would be our answer, as you can see here. Or if you want, you can actually uh, distribute this negative one to each component in there. So that would actually give us um, if you want, we can just write it another way, then we are going to just get, um, what is that, negative a over nine, okay? And then negative, negative will give you a positive one over nine here. And then the last one, negative four over nine, right? So negative four over nine. So those two are actually the same answer as you can see, they're equivalent. 
Okay, so those are the two answers that we are getting here. They're both unit vectors and one is pointing in the same direction as V and the other one is pointing in the opposite direction as V. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching. Please share my video. See you next time.